Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to georeference an X7 dataset or point cloud to a real world position. As you can see here from uh, X7 and perspective uh, field software, I already get the data set pre-registered in the field and now they are imported into TBC. But as you can see, it is not georeferenced. The whole point cloud sits somewhere uh, near 0, 0, 0 location. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is to import some pre-surveyed ground control points. Um, they are surveyed with a real-world projection. So I'm going to drag and drop a JXL file in with ground control points in them. And the first thing TBC detects is a different uh, projection. I'm going to convert to the imported files definition. Here um, we used UTM 47 North as our um, coordinate system and we got three control points sitting at the correct location and the X7 point cloud still sitting near 00. zero. Um, it's quite difficult in TBC to zoom all the way into these two separate positions in one plan view. So I'm going to open a second plan view. Each will uh, zoom into a, a, a X, an X7 position or our ground control point position. New plan view. And I can rearrange them to different um, view tab groups. For the first one, I'm going to keep zooming into X7. For the second plan view, I'm going to zoom into the ground control point. To georeference the point cloud, I will go to the point clouds tab. Instead of using the georeference scans uh, command, I'm going to open the register scans command. The reason why is that for the X7, I will need to redefine, uh, refine uh, the field registration for a little bit. And in this command, I have both refinement tab and georeferencing tab. So I don't have to close the command and reopen another again and again. Um, so the first step would be to roughly georeference the X7 data set to your destination location. As you can see, we are already in the georeferencing tab. All the uh, scans are in one group. We don't have to touch on that. And here, for the point ID, I'm going to just pick some uh, point from um, the vicinity of your final destination. Uh, imagine you have an X, uh, SX10 data set already sitting in this area. You can also pick some point in that point cloud, maybe somewhere near the center of that point cloud, to be your point ID. Then for the scan point, come back to the X7 site, pick somewhere near the point cloud. Again, we are not looking for a very accurate matching here. One point would be enough. So TBC will be able to translate this point cloud from 00, zero to this UTM location. So I'm going to hit georeference. Now the point cloud is on the correct side, but some of the measurements or annotations are still um, uh, lagging behind. So I'm going to hit recompute project. Now everything is on the right side. Since we only did a, um, a rough translation, um, this time I'm going to first open a new 3D view to check what the point cloud looks like now. If I zoom into a very um, cornered area, you can see, mm, I can still see the right corner of this wall. However, you would notice some kind of noise on the top of the wall. The reason behind is that when we drag this point cloud from 00, zero to this real world position, TBC applied a very different skill factor to all the scans. Therefore, uh, the pre-registered point cloud is not matching with each other that well anymore. So to correct this, 
we need to come back to the refinement tab, fix one of those stations, and if you want to, also unlock leveling of other stations so TBC can have more freedom to uh, tighten the registration of all the scans. And then you hit refine overall registration. You can hit OK for this warning. Now the registration or the refinement is done. Uh, TBC will ask you if you want to generate a report. We can hit yes. And you can scroll all the way down to the second page to see the result. Everything is in the green code, meaning that um, the registration are still in good quality. I'm going to close that. And this time in the 3D view, um, you should see a better or a tightened registration among all these scans. All right, so now we have already done the um, refinement of all the scans. The next thing we want to do is to really georeference this point cloud to some known control points. Um, so let's go back to the georeferencing tab. And this time, we need to carefully pick our uh, scan point to match with the ground, uh, ground control points. Uh, I have three ground control points in this case. I'm going to type in the point ID and then come back to the point cloud. I'm going to find those points. Here, I'm using color-coded uh, color intensity method to identify those points. You can pick the method you like. After each, each pick, you may want to rotate the 3D view a little bit to make sure you are not accidentally uh, picking a point in the background. That's it. Those are the ground control points I want to pick. And I'm going to hit georeference. Remember, right now, this is how the point cloud looks like. After the georeferencing, TBC will rotate the point cloud so that the point cloud can match with our pre-surveyed ground control points. Now I can close the view to trigger the project recomputation. As you can see, all these annotations are back and they are pointing at the correct position or orientation. Another way to uh, verifying if you now have a correct uh, georeferencing would be to turn on the background map. So if you already uh, logged into your Trimble ID, you can come to the uh, bottom of TBC, uh, quick access uh, status bar to toggle the background map. Zoom out a little bit. And as you can see, our data set sits on the beach in Thailand, and I can right-click on my project name, open its properties, change the map type to digital globe, zoom in and out a little bit, and there you see the building over here, and it's matching with our point cloud. That's how you would uh, georeference the X7 data. Uh, here, I just showed you how to georeference it to some um, known uh, or uh, surveyed ground control points. Um, if you happen to have an X7, uh, SX10 data set sitting at this uh, projected location, you can use the same method um, by picking the, the exact matching point pairs from the X7 data set and the SX10 data set. Thank you for watching.